What's up everyone and welcome to another recipe review video from Lavas. We make recipe reviews to help save you time and money by giving you the best recipes with an easy to follow video. So if you're tired of sifting through recipes and not really sure which one is best, just give us a subscribe and we'll save you that headache. Today's recipe is a keto pumpkin mug cake from Keto Connect at ketoconnect.net. We'll link them in the description below and Becca will show you how to make it. First thing we're gonna do is take a half tablespoon of butter and microwave it into our mug for 15 seconds. Coat the sides of the entire cup. Now we're gonna combine one egg, three tablespoons of pumpkin puree, and a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. How pumpkin-y. Now we'll add in one teaspoon of pumpkin spice and a half teaspoon of baking powder. We're gonna be adding one scoop of vanilla protein powder. The protein powder that we went with is the NutriBio, which is actually the one that Keto Connect use themselves. Um, so that's one scoop of that in there. A half teaspoon of erythritol, or you can use 10 drops of stevia. So we're just gonna go with the stevia. protein powder off the side. Now we're just going to put this into the microwave for 70 to 80 seconds. Here it is, kids. This is our pumpkin mug cake. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. So now we're gonna taste it. Pumpkin mug cake. Oh, this is some solid spongy cakeness. So here is the Keto Connect mug cake. It smells really good. <laughs> good one. Here. There we go. <laughs> Let's try this out. It's kind of feels kind of dry. Oh wow. Well kind of dry. Mmm. So I don't like it. I think that it's a little dry. The taste is lacking for me. I think what makes it weird is the fact that there's no flour in it and it's protein powder. That's why it just tastes like artificial to me. I think I like it. I mean, it's spongy. I could kind of taste like a little bit of that artificial thing and it's definitely the, it's the protein powder and I think too much stevia at the same time. Yeah. So what do you give it for taste? I give it a two. I'll give it an eight. Yeah. As far as texture, what are you giving it? I'd, I'd give it like a, a five. I give it a ten. I like it. I like how spongy it is. It breaks up in your mouth nice. And I don't think it's really that dry. The recipe. No, I'd definitely give it a, a ten for the recipe. The only thing was he said a scoop of protein powder. Different protein powders have different scoop sizes, man. I still give it a 10. Very well written, easy to follow. Props to Keto Connect. They're probably like, they're probably like the most popular keto channel out there. So I'd be surprised if you haven't heard of them. Uh, tons of great recipes. They have a, a book out even. They have a blog, Keto Connect. Check them out. So uh, please like and subscribe to our channel. If you guys have any suggestions on things you want us to try so that you don't have to go out and spend the money on those ingredients yourself, then comment below or you can find us on our Instagram. Look forward to more fall recipes in the next three months and lavas.